Merry Christmas guys, wishing you all the best for the new year and in good old Christmas tradition I attempted to climb Mount Alexander again so this is the mountain which I have tried to climb on subsequent three Christmases or Boxing Days or whatnot and never been successful. For those of you who haven't seen the previous attempts I've got two of them which I'll link up in the tab, tab above me there. So this was my fourth attempt at getting up it and this time I decided to do it all in a single day. So I set off at, well I set off from town just after seven o'clock and I started climbing at about ten past eight. And yeah, this is a video of how it unfolded. I don't have much video of the actual walking itself because the, the track is pretty much all covered in my previous two videos. Yeah, have a look, enjoy, and wishing you all the best for 2022. It's now just after 10 o'clock and we've made it to the hut. I'm about to just start heading up now. Hopefully it'll be in now another hour and a half to the top to the cairns up, up there and then and then we'll take another break and yeah we'll head hopefully on up. The weather, I don't know if you can see the weather, but it is it's a little bit cloudy. I'm hoping that it looks like relatively high cloud and there certainly breaks in in it for a blue sky. The weather forecast is for it to be sunny. But um, oh, given last year, who knows what, um, what's going to be happening. Looking at the book in the hut, there's already a couple of people up who have camped at their tarns up the mountain over Christmas Eve. So we'll see, um, hopefully catch up with them. And yeah, there should be a, a few people at the top maybe. But see how it goes. at the first peak so at about 1700 meters and as you can possibly see the crowds just about to sort of close in a wee bit I'm optimistic that I'll probably reach the summit but maybe not for the awesome views that I was um, exactly hoping for but at this level pretty cool so that mountain just there is Tinga at around 1400 meters so already about 300 meters above that summit and then we've just got another 250 300 meters of elevation still to go before we reach the top of the uh, reach the top of this one nearly there We're here on the top of the world. What views, eh? What views? It's a bit of a gnarly climb. Uh, quite a few um, cliffs dropping off as well. But we did it.
So it took us a wee while to actually come out there at uh, the cloud line. It's set down a lot, uh, lot lower now. I ended up having to compass out, and I sort of got turned around, I think, three times in total. But um, yeah, finally down, and the cloud's sort of broken. Uh, we're on half past three, so hopefully we I can the car about half six. So I'm at the terrace now. Uh, still very, very cloud driven down there, but at least visibility is still probably a couple of hundred meters rather than just like 20 or 30. So that's a bonus. Well, we're back at the car park and it's been just over 10 hours of walking. So, a productive Christmas day and I'm shattered. Anyway, have a great Christmas and uh, all the best for the new year.